We got our first major update of Chapter 5 Season 2, and with it we got new weapons and also got a new weapon patch, which helps shape the season's meta more and more as we get closer to FNCS, and in this video I'm going to go over everything from today's update, so let's get straight into it. Starting it off, we see the return of the hand cannon in today's update, and it looks absolutely insane. You can find it in rare, epic, and legendary rarity. And just by looking at the stats, you can tell this thing is absolutely insane. At rare rarity, it has 85 damage, 153 headshot damage. At epic rarity, it has 89 damage and 160 headshot damage. And at Legendary, it does 94 damage and 169 headshot damage. This almost reminds me of the Mammoth Pistol, but this time it is going to have weapon drop just like all the other guns in the Chapter 5 loot pool already. And just like all the other Chapter 5 guns as well, you can put attachments on this thing and you can basically put every single attachment on it. You could put a 4 times scope on it if you want drum magazines, speed reload, anything you want, lasers. The only things you can't really put on it are the grips outside of the lasers, the only underbarrel you can put on it. I'm not sure how it's going to play out with the bullet drop. It's not going to be as good as the mammoth pistol from last chapter, but it's definitely going to be broken. Moving on, the other new item we got in this update is the banana of the gods and this thing gives up to 100 hp and it also gives you the slap effect and the coolest part about this thing is it gives you the same effect of the zeus medallion coin by giving you increased sprinting speed and a jump boost for 25 seconds so this thing is actually pretty solid and i went in a custom match and played a game and i actually found a couple of these things and you can stack more than one of them so this is actually a pretty solid item just for the rotation. And then now the next thing I want to talk about is the big change in this update. In this update, Fortnite decided to make some changes to both the Reaper Sniper Rifle and the Huntress DMR. And Fortnite decided to make the bullet drop less and make the bullet speed faster on both of these rifles. And this is basically reverting the bullet drop and bullet speed change they made last season to the Reaper Sniper Rifle. So we basically have the Chapter 5 launch Reaper Sniper Rifle back once again. And Fortnite also made a couple more changes to the Reaper Sniper Rifle. It will no longer be found in Uncommon and Rare Rarity, and it's also going to be harder to find it at Epic and Legendary. So basically there will be less snipers on the map now, and probably more DMRs needing to be used. And Fortnite also decided to buff the DMR by giving it a pretty good damage buff that makes it go up 1 damage from Uncommon all the way up to Epic, and then the Legendary and Mythic rarities both go up 2 damage each. Now a lot of people have mixed feelings about this, but I think the fact that there's going to be less snipers on the map is a lot better. A lot less headshot snipes and insta game ruiners with potentially a lot less snipers on the map. Comment down below how you feel about this change and if you think it's going to help or if you think it's going to be worse since there's less bullet drop and the bullets are faster again. But moving on the next gun I want to talk about is the drum gun which also received the buff in this update. Every single rarity of the drum gun got a damage increase by one, and we also see a fire rate increase for the drum gun of two and a half percent. So overall, the drum gun might be a little bit more useful now and stack up better with the burst SMG. So we'll just have to see how many more people are gonna use the drum gun now that it has more damage and the fire rate is a little faster. Maybe it could be a pretty solid spray weapon in the meta now. The next gun I'm going to talk about is the Frenzy Auto, and it actually received a nerf. The Frenzy Auto shotgun's range has been slightly nerfed now, which will make it shoot less distance and have higher RNG when shooting further away. This is a pretty solid change to the Frenzy Auto. The Frenzy Auto has always been pretty spammy since it's been in the meta since last season, and I'm glad it's finally got a bit of a nerf. The Frenzy has been absolutely torturing people for two seasons now, and the fact that it will have a little bit less range is pretty solid. And then the last weapon that got tweaked in this update is the Chains of Hades, which its pull attack now does 10 more damage, going to 40 now instead of 30. Now this is just one of the weapons in the game that's just in the loot pool and nobody really uses it in competitive, but Fortnite did decide to buff it a little bit. I still don't think it's going to be used at all. Overall, I think Fortnite made some really solid changes here. I really like the drum gun buff and a pretty solid frenzy nerf. I'm really not too sure how to feel about the sniper and DMR changes. We're going to have to wait and see how this plays out within the next couple of days with scrims and with tournaments coming up. We'll have to see how all these weapon changes play out. But comment down below what you think about these changes Fortnite made 
if you think they made good decisions or if you think they made bad decisions and also comment down below what else you want to see fortnite do if you think they missed nerfing a gun or if there's a gun that needs some more love and needs to be buffed a little bit me personally i'd like to see them look into the warforged ar i think it's a pretty solid spray weapon but it's not really the greatest ar you can't really use it at range effectively at all but comment down below and let me know what you think and as always, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video just like this one and are always up to date on Fortnite competitive, whether that's weapon changes, duo changes, or anything Fortnite competitive related at all. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like as the video would get pushed out to more people. As I said last video, thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. We're going to keep climbing and I'm going to keep pumping out these videos. That's going to do it for me in this video, guys. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.